Buds, the Terrachin Charles, Judge BX Games here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on Blue and received our Earth Badge, the last gym of Kanto. And today, we are going after Lugia. Also, today is Friday. It's Friday, Friday. No, dear, no. <laughs> but uh, we're going after. Uh, um, Lapras as well. Yeah, Lapras is available in a certain section of uh, the Union Cave only on a Friday. So we're going to have to go and do that too. But first things first, because I'm a realist, it is time to go for Lugia. And god damn it, I'm scared about this one. My team may not be the best that it is right now, but it is as good as I'm going to get it. And I do have two HM slaves on the team right now because the fact is I kind of need them. You know, I kind of need a cool temp because I kind of need Whirlpool. And I also kind of need Flash as well. That's why Moon is here. I mean, Moon was going to take over the final slot of the team uh, for Red, but I've recently learned I probably could do it without him. I might actually be able to do this with five Pokemon, uh, to be able to defeat Red with five Pokemon. Because literally, like, this, Red doesn't have any threats that warrant a grass type, really. My Lantern is probably going to be able to take on his water types really easily. You know, he has a La he has a Lapras and he has a Blastoise. And I can take those on with Lantern. The one threat I have of his is probably going to be a Snorlax, but I have some ways of dealing with that too, which I will go into, uh, which I will go into in that episode. But like, I want to, you know, I want to show you some of these, uh, uh, some of the things I've done. So Lover is level 68 with a Nevermelt Ice. I've taught Shadow Ball instead of Hypno, instead of Nightmare. Because I feel like that's going to help us with Red's Espeon. Uh, you know Steel Wing now because of uh, it helps you with Rock types, which will be very he helpful on the way up to Red. You're the same moveset as always. You know Dynamic Punch now, which uh, basically allows me to hit things like that Snorlax. Pump is. Dynamic Punch has an accuracy of about 50, so it's not great. And the other two mons are in the box right now. Uh, well, uh, Red Rum is in the box right now, and Red Rum doesn't know any new move. Uh, yes, he does know a new move. He knows Fire Blast now, because I learned that while leveling up too. It's one of his. It's like I think it was like his last move that he learns. So I'm excited. I think I'm going the right way. I have no honest clues of this. And I know that... I believe that Lugia is level... 90? Oh, thanks. Can I bring Nutmeg back with that? No. No, I can't. Ah, it's a surf place. Okay. And this is a waterfall, but I'm not going to use. I'm not using waterfall to go down it. I'm just going. I'm use, just using waterfall. All right, let's do this. Now, of course, obviously, you always save the game. And for facing legendaries, you always save the game just in case. Uh, this doesn't count as part of the Nuz... Well, hopefully no one will die from this. I'm not going to count it as part of the Nuzlocke if it, anyone does. But hopefully no one will die. Alright, let's do this. Let's go, Lugia!
gear appeared. Level 70. Ooh. Yeah, that's the other thing about Lugia. Lugia has recover. Ooh, I'm able to hit this. I'm able to hit him with some sleep. And of course Lugia is beefy, and if I can get this Lugia, which is going to be annoying because, you know, one turn sleep is a thing. But if I can get this Lugia, and then transfer it to Ultra Sun and Moon, this Lugia will have its hidden ability, because that's how hit, uh, transfer Pokemon work. And Lugia's hidden ability is multi-scale. Which means, in other words, this thing is going to be OP. This thing will go straight to Ubers and everything. That's how good this thing will be if I can get it. Can I hit you again? Ooh, can I hit you again? I'm gonna try it. This is risky. Okay, I shouldn't have risked it. I should have not risked it. Fault one. I should have not risked it. I should have stayed where I was. I should have stayed where I was. Fault number one. Round two. Let's get going again. I should have stayed where I was. What about Shadow Ball? Now, Shadow Ball is physical in this generation. Does less damage. Ice Punch is special, and we know Lover has an amazing special attack stat. But his physical is not as good. The annoying thing is, I lower his special defense. Good thing this is still physical in this generation, so Shadow Ball is the better move. It's risky if I can hit you again. Please don't die. Please min damage. Please min damage so I can stop. No! No! I don't know what I'm going to do to this. I have to be really careful. I have to be really, really careful. That one didn't take that long. I haven't even thrown a Pokeball yet. This is how weird this is. I haven't even thrown a Pokeball yet. But this is hard. Can I Psychic you? I mean, that's Stab. It's not super effective. I think, in fact, you might resist it because you're psychic type yourself. But this is stab for lover. Oh my god, that does nothing. That might be my way of chipping away at you. That might be my way of chipping away. you have Hydro Pump, and Hydro Pump has a really bad accuracy. You have Rain Dance too, which is interesting. I think one more is going to put you in the red. Yeah, we already have Rain. You can't really bring any more Rain. Okay, you're in the red. 
That's annoying. Go to sleep, please. Okay, I'm gonna have to ice punch you again. Don't die. Don't die. For the love of God, don't die. Don't die. Anytime I get him in a situation where I can probably do, uh, actually just throw Pokeballs, he's going to recover. Which is why I need him to stay asleep. Which is annoying because he does not want to stay asleep. Okay. You are in the red. Your special defense has fallen. The rain has stopped. I'm going to stop hitting you. Oh, look, you recover. And I missed the hip. No, I don't miss the hypnosis, actually. No, well, I'm going to throw a ball. throw a ball. Yeah, I thought so. I actually thought so. Good thing I have a lot of them. I mean, I wasn't planning on using this one. Like, I'm not planning on using Hoa, which is why, again, I used the Master Ball on it, because I'm not planning on using these things. If anything, I'm planning on take, bringing them to, sun and, to Ultra Sun and Moon. At least you bounced. Oh look, you're back at full HP. And you missed. So that's two hydro pumps you've missed. I think you've used about four recovers. Oh the freeze! That's OP! Okay, that's OP! You can't do anything now for a few turns! I don't even know if you can get out of this! This is OP! The freeze! Come on, bounce for me. Yeah, you defrosted. Come on, bounce for me. I'm gonna have to put you back. I'm gonna have to put you to sleep now. Oh, you finally hit a hydro pump. Okay, that's healing room. If I can put if I can put you to sleep, I need to heal. Yeah, I need to heal. Now put you to sleep, so I need to heal. I'm a, okay, so I'm back up my full back up full health. You're asleep. I'm gonna throw a ball. Let's see what happens. 57 more balls. Come on. Well, he bounced twice there, which is good. They put the rain back up, which is also interesting. And more rain is now being played because you're spamming rain dance. I missed my sleep for the first time. That's your fourth Hydro Pump, and it's the second one you've hit. I'm playing with the math here. I'm looking at... Okay, you're back asleep. You're back asleep. Go for a ball. One. See what I have mean? I have awful legendary luck. I mean, I think 63 Pokeballs was going to, uh, 63 Ultra Balls was going to be enough to do this 
if I was going to try it. That's why I thought, anyway. I may be sadly, sadly mistaken. That was a crit! Okay, I need to heal. I do not like you hitting Hydro Pumps. So you have Rain Dance, Swift, Recover, and Hydro Pump. Okay, so you ha you don't have your signature move Aeroblast. Well, this may be not the generation where you get Aeroblast. But that's your final, that's your final um, Hydro Pump. That's your final Hydro Pump. You don't have any more of those. You just have Swift now. And you're back asleep. Don't need a potion just yet. I'm gonna throw a ball. Come on, catch for me. Come on. I mean, you're not trying to recover, so that's something. Come on, catch for me. You're not even trying to bounce now, which is annoying. Two, two. This reset has been pretty good for me. So far. It's gave me a decent chance to try and catch this thing. One, two, three. <gasps> I got it! I got it! I got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. It is said that it quietly spends its time in the deep bottom of the sea because its powers are too strong. Okay, sorry I just dropped my DS. I'll try and cut that out. Okay, so we have Ron. Lugia. Let's escape rope out of here. Okay, lavender. Fly me to Azalea Town, please. Heal me up, please, Nurse Joy. Let's go and take a look at this Lugia. And then we're going to go after uh, Lapras. Okay, so here's Burn. Let's take a look at Burn. So, yeah, Recover, Hydro Pump, Rain Dance, and Swift. And there's his stats for you. Look at that special defense. His defense is amazing, too. His attack's okay. His special attack's quite good. His speed is... Yeah, his speed's pretty good, too. Everything's really good about this thing. I mean, if you compare it to Ron... Which is here... Which had Recover, Sacred Fire, Gust, and Safeguard. I mean, yeah, sure, Ron is level 40, Lugia is level 70, but, you know. Both amazing Pokemon, and I, that was such an interesting, that was so good. Right. We still have balls, so I don't need to go and stock up. Now, I think I can only do this on a Friday. Okay, 
Really? Run! Was this crystal thing? This might be a crystal thing. This honestly might be a crystal thing. I might have to search this up and see if this was a crystal thing, or if this was Google thing, I mean this is a thing, or not. I'm you know what, I'm gonna look it up. Union Cave Lapras. Union Cave Lapras Pokemon Gold. Can I actually go here? There's no staircase. Hello. There are trainers down here too. Okay. You have one Pokemon. You have a Kangas card. Level 26. the party. I'm not going to kick your ass with something that's really strong. I'm going to kick your ass with something that's sort of a, sort of strong. Because Moon is, it's a Parasect at the end of the day. Yeah, sure, it's level 53 to go compared to some of their Pokemon, but like, you know, it's, it's a parasite at the end of the day. It's not cool. It's not good. Marowak. Okay, I can beat that easily. Moon, Giga Drain. Oh, 
Okay. Oh yeah, Moon's got the experience share on. And another one. Just for the moment in time, I'm going to use um, Moon. And my phone's going off, so I'm going to turn that over and not worry about that. Saw me from all the way down there. It's Friday. So Lapras should be here. Charmander! Charmander! this article. No one knows why Lapras only comes on a Friday, but never miss one. It's resilient as well as punctual. If you get a KO, there'll be another one next week. Still, you have to you probably don't want to wait. After all, Lapras is one of the best Pokemon in the game. So fight it with heavy balls. balls and make sure you have five Pokemon to go ahead and catch it. To catch one, head to the southwest of level one. Run to the bottom of the cave and you surf to cross the small patch of water, then go down the ladder to the east section. Walk south and walk the final patch of uh, no water. Surf to find the Lapras chilling. It should be around level 20 before it gets uh, captured. So it should be round here. Hyper Potion, nice. So this episode might be a bit longer than my usual ones because I'm trying to do some. See Lapras anywhere. There's an item here, an elixir. Nice. Would be helpful for the Pokemon League. Oh wait, I've already done that. You'd 
think this little island here would have something on it, but it doesn't. face that other girl that's further up, but I think this might be Lapras's area. Hello Lapras! You know what? I'm gonna face that girl who's further up. Hello, girl. I'm gonna face you. You were the, my last. You are the last person who's gonna stop me in my ways of facing Lapras today. You're an EV level 26. Do you have like all? Do you have evolutions? Do you have Flareon? Jolteon and Vaporeon? Yeah, you do. But says Flareon. You had an EV level 26. You had a, you have a Flareon level 22. Oh, can I get level 54 off this? Because that'd be cool if I can. You have a Jolteon level 22. Vaporeon, also level 22. Okay. I am too good for it. Let's do this. Lapras, you're mine. Now, obviously, just like a legendary encounter, it's time to save the game. Let's go for this. Lapras. I'm gonna spoil you. And I'm gonna throw one of my balls at you. I may put a cool tent in to weak and see if I can weaken you if I need to. Yeah, I might need that. I actually might need to bring in a cool tent to weaken you. And the cool tent's level 22. Okay, so the cool tent, this is like the first bit of work you get to do. Strict does nothing. I 
want to use acid, but the fact is I really don't... I don't want to poison you, that's... I can't poison you whilst you're asleep. Which is great, but you wake up. And now you put me asleep, which is annoying. But you should have no valid way of recovery, so I can just switch back into Moon, and Moon could s I can spore you again. Okay, so you have Sing, you have Body Slam. Body Slam can paralyze me, but I'm better off being paralyzed than asleep. in time. Which is okay. It's okay in my box to hide moves. I'm gonna spoil you again though. The spore is 100% accurate. Never misses. And it's a really good move to put someone to sleep. It's like a hundred percent effective move to put someone to sleep. Now you I know you can learn recover, but I don't think you'll have it. Not at level 20 anyway, so... I can just chip away at you with acid like I'm doing. Really don't like the fact that you can just two-turn it. Back into Moon again. The strats I'm pulling. Okay, I can take the growl. I can take the growl because I'm not doing any attacking moves with you and Moon. And Moon is just here to put you back to sleep. A cool tent is the guy who's attacking you. And with the amount of times I switch out, your growls don't really matter. Now I think one more acid should put you in range. Maybe one more after that. This is probably the definite the last acid I can do you. Okay, you're in the red. A cool tent is probably not the most tanky person in the world, but until you wake up, he might do it. He probably doesn't need to be that tanky. One, two, three. We caught the Lapras. They have gentle hearts because they rarely fight. Many have been caught, so their number has dwindled. Oh, I feel bad now. I feel bad now. Now I only have one name for you, and this name goes back to my uh, childhood. 
Good. My favourite game back when I was a child was a game called Transport Tycoon. Basically, it's a tycoon game where you could uh, build your own bus company and you made boats and trains and planes and stuff like that as well. And because of this, and the fact that Lapras is known as the transport Pokemon, I call my Lapras's Tycoon. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Lugia and Lapras in Pokemon Gold and Silver. I'd like you to thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we will be challenging... Well, actually, you kind of know what we're doing. We're challenging Rhett. And we're also going to be challenging our rival because if we challenge the if we go to the Pokemon League building on a Monday or a Wednesday, we can challenge uh, we can challenge the Elite Four. But we can also challenge our rival. Our rival is there on a Monday and a Wednesday only. So I will be doing that as well before I go and challenge Red. By the way, I'm not challenging the Elite Four again. I know that the Elite Four's levels have not changed since I last challenged them. Lancer's still got Dragonite's at level 47 and level 47, level 47 and 50. That's his highest. Um, Silver's highest, on the other hand, I think it's like level 53. And then Red's highest is his Pikachu at level 81. But I think I'm ready to take that on now at the levels I'm at. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, if you did enjoy, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm JHPH Games, and I'm out. See you again.